Simon, Thank you over to you. Much. Well, what a pleasure to be here. Thank you very much indeed. I'm actually only the warm-up man for James Foyce, from, uh, who is going to be talking to you about the benefits of um, uh, service departments. But I just want to put it into context for him and look at travel. I'm not a building junkie. I'm a travel junkie. That's, um, that's all I do, really, and um, uh, very good fun it is, too. Um, better than a real job. This is um, a recently Mediterranean filming exercise in uh, Malta, which was um, uh, good fun. Then I had to go to Brussels and taste some beer in the uh, Grand Place. It got worse. Later, I had to drift around Sydney Harbour being massaged by lovely Nadine while talking nonsense into a BBC holiday camera. However, um, it's not all good. Uh, I was recently on a Thompson cruise, um, very nice uh, cruise, it was a lovely uh, trip, um, and somebody recognised me and the rumour went round that Simon Cowell was on board. <laughs> and this is what happened. And it was... Um, the, the uh, most extreme case of mistaken identity uh, I have had until this morning when, as uh, John so kindly says, um, I uh, just got in from China, I was just walking through town, I thought I'd grab a coffee at Pret. And next thing I knew, all the staff wanted to line up and get their photo taken with me. So crikey, goodness knows who they thought I was. Uh, presumably George Clooney. Anyway. Um, yeah, I have been out to China. The editor said, I want you to go to the Great Wall. What he actually meant was um, uh, the restaurant of that name. But um, I thought, no, I'm going to uh, go to the real thing. It is a marvellous thing. How many people have been to the Great Wall? Ooh, well, it's, it should be on your list. Um, incredibly popular, um, so much so that I was there and they're actually building new parts of it. Um, so, my most recent trip to somewhere extreme showed me the value of service departments. This is the uh, uh, Camp 3 on Aconcagua, which is the highest um, mountain outside the Himalayas, where I had the um, uh, ill-advised misfortune to um, try to climb. That gives you some idea of the bathroom facilities. So it's not quite the um, three-bedroom, two-bathroom uh, two stuff that you get at 100 Kings Road. There I was at the top, finally... Mm. Um, I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. Um, and then I went to the uh, uh, Hotel Proprietors Association dinner. No, uh, no atmosphere at all. Um, <laughs> and of course, what I should have been doing is coming to beautiful, beautiful Reading. Um, haven't been here for a while. Why would anybody want to stray any further than the uh, largest town, soon to be city, in Berkshire? Marvellous, marvellous. It's even got, here we are, Atlantic salmon, it claims, swimming, swimming along the... Uh, the tributaries, and it's got great buses. I've never seen such exciting buses. Maybe I should get out more. Um, <laughs> there, there, there's a claret one. And look, what's behind it? My goodness me. Um, yes, it is. It's um, houseoffisherstayhoff.com at West Street. Now, this is all happening at a terrible, terrible time, of course, for the travel industry, which is so susceptible. The year of hell set to get even worse, except, ladies and gentlemen, in the teeth whitening business. <laughs> I suggest that uh, T.A. Fisher should diversify at once. Um, travel industry, in its usual way, has responded um, very, uh, 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 very um, uh, imaginatively. Um, these are various signs that I've collected in places around the world, including this one, where I think they've kind of got the, uh, the message just a little mixed up. Um, of course, everyone knows prices of fuel are going up in New Orleans. This is how they are uh, <laughs> announcing the prices. So let's all stay in Britain, except if you go to uh, the lovely village of Nasty in uh, Essex, this is what you see. Um, we've got it all a bit wrong. Goodwood, beautiful country house. Of course, there's a race course there. They can't even get top billing against the crematorium and the amenity tip. Um, uh, in similarly, in Dover, so many great things to see, but uh, the main attraction is the Immigration <laughs> Removal Centre. Ah, uh, and look, the Tour de France is going to end in Yorkshire on stage two in July, and this is how the um, cyclists are going to be welcomed to Sheffield. Oh dear, oh dear. Look at this, we, we, don't, we just don't get it. Woodhall Spa, the home of the Dam Buster Squadron. But you wouldn't know it from this sign. All it tells you is that um, it's twinned with somewhere you've never heard of in France. Look, unless you're twinned with Las Vegas, don't put it on your signs. And um, it's been downhill all the way since 1998. 
Oh dear. Um, and just along the road, uh, the Albion Inn just um, uh, shows the attitude of some in the hospitality industry. Of course, certainly not House of Fisher. Um, many more examples. If you need a, a burger and you're in Brighton, let me uh, recommend this place. And this would be in Monmouth. Um, in lovely Wales. Uh, this, I think, sums up the attitude of many parts of the uh, hospitality industry. So, just talking of hotels, of course I stay in some of them. Uh, I visit some like the uh, St Pancras Renaissance, because I, I, um, uh, but I'm more likely to be staying in the McDonald's Hotel at Zurich Airport, can you believe it? Uh, again, there are so many examples of shoddy stuff. This was down in um, uh, Bex Hill in Sussex, it would never happen here. Anybody recognise this? Let's have a look a bit closer. Uh, sorry? Manchester. Manchester, what is it? No, it's not, I'm afraid. Um, it's uh, the... Oh, hang on. So it's the Hill Toe, and we've uh, managed to drop a slide there. They, they actually had the sign saying Hill Toe, and it was like that for six weeks. Um, booking accommodation, and this is crucial. Now, of course, we heard from John about how fantastic the... Um, uh, the bookings are uh, the incredible lengths of stay and so on. But in the hotel sector, it is all going wrong because people, of course, are used to um, the internet, 24 hours a day access, except in uh, Buenos Aires when it's 25 hours a day. Um, <laughs> but the alternative to uh, service departments is uh, Airbnb. Very often, I booked one in, um, in Seattle. It was an absolute disaster. I tried again in um, Riga. It was uh, unlike um, 100 Kings Road, which is very easy to find. You simply couldn't find it. So I very strongly am trying to persuade people that they should be uh, booking places to stay. Um, oops, sorry. Which uh, they actually contact the place direct. So stayhoff.com, what a great website, putting you directly in touch, as opposed to hotels.com, booking.com, which are just taking a huge slice of money, which should be staying in the hospitality industry. Okay, uh, very quickly before James uh, picks up, um, the future is in your hands. Oh no, it isn't. Let me tell you some of the things which are gonna happen, um, which you can control, some of which you aren't. Who would have thought we could all say, Eia fiat yuckle, if you need a pronunciation um, aid, there we are. So. Four years ago, um, suddenly airspace shut down. I was in Norway at the time. You didn't actually need to speak Norwegian to know that things were not going at all well. Um, and I went out as a passenger on SAS. I came back as freight on a container ship. Um, next one going to pop is Vesuvius. Um, it's about 10 years overdue. When it does, it will cause mayhem again. Uh, very important to uh, uh, improve occupancy of people who can't get home from Reading. Uh, Going to have another flu epidemic, I'm afraid. And, of course, Heathrow, so important for the Thames Valley. What's going to happen there? Well, I think the betting is currently looking at uh, Heathrow rather than Gatwick. Um, these, by the way, uh, one graph you're going to see, I promise it won't be more than that, already has half the traffic of all the top five airports in the UK. Um, so that is likely to increase... Um, and as you know, there's three possibilities uh, for the airport commission. Two of them involve an extra runway at Heathrow. And I'm sure we can find out which one is going to be in, in, uh, uh, chosen from our uh, excellent MP. Terminal 2 is definitely going to open on the uh, 2nd of June, so watch out for that. And um, then, unfortunately... Dubai is going to continue to outshine Heathrow. It is now carrying more passengers internationally. And there's one other place to watch out for. Where is this? Istanbul. Istanbul. Very good, very good. So uh, that is going soon to outshine even Dubai. Turkish Airlines is transforming the place. Um, Centre Parks opens on the 6th of June in Woburn uh, Forest. I know that's, that's, well, it's not actually in Woburn and it's not actually in a forest, but it is quite close to the M1. Uh, outside Luton. Um, that is going to have a big effect on the uh, leisure market. Um, and of course, High Speed One is doing its absolute best to avoid Reading. However, that doesn't matter because um, thanks to this man um, who is... Uh, oh. Brunel, yes, isn't Park Kingdom Brunel? By Platform One in um, uh, Pannington Station is where he is. He's part of the Crossrail team, as you can see. Tremendous news that uh, Reading is going to be on the Crossrail network. 
And, and of course, already there's such a huge advantage over any similar sized town, similar distance from London because of the very fast and frequent trains. It's only going to get better. And it's only going to get better here. I must say many congratulations to John and Mel and the team for their fantastic work uh, creating this beautiful place. And here's how happy I was um, before my Radio 4 broadcast where I looked like that only to improve the... Uh, um, the acoustic, I had to put a duvet over my head, and you can't see a picture of that. Thank you so much. I now hand over to the excellent James Voice of the Association of Service Department Providers. Thank you.